Good morning from Barcelona. We are in Barcelona. We've come to spend kind of a long weekend. We're here from Saturday till Tuesday. It's our first time in Barcelona as well, so very exciting. This is actually day two. So today is Sunday and yesterday after a very, very early flight, we left home at 3 a.m. and we were just going on very, very little throughout the whole day. But we did do a little bit of exploring, which I did film a little bit as well. So I will insert some clips of that. We just did a bit of a walk around from our hotel to, I believe it's called Parque de Cuitadela. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to butcher every single Spanish pronunciation. It was a beautifully sunny day as well. So it was so perfect. So we just walked around there really just like, it was just very relaxing, which was really quite nice. And then we saw the um arc de triomphe i don't know if it's called that as well in spanish but it's something like along those lines and um, so we passed through that as well we saw a couple of markets and then we ended up passing plaza de catalunya as well and also la rambla so we did a lot of like accidental exploring too so we probably will still go back to a few of those places like properly but I was just a bit intimidated by vlogging to be honest with you so hopefully today we're going to get back into the swing of things because I mean soon the holiday will be over so I feel like I need to get my vlogging camera get like a bit more ready and used to it I suppose. Almost forgot to mention last night's dinner we went to a burger place called Asado and they also have one in Bristol if any of you are from Bristol and um, that is their only branch in the UK but they have that one in Bristol and then I believe two in different parts of Spain so we went there for burgers last night and that was really good honestly I think we went out for like dinner 8 p.m which for Barcelona is very early so we had an 8 p.m dinner and then we were in bed by like 9 30 10 o'clock ready for bed so we've had a really long sleep tonight very well rested it is currently like midday i think it's been quite cloudy so far this morning but it does seem to be opening up a little bit and we have a few things planned for today but let's see how it goes i feel like whenever you're traveling like other stuff just tends to pop up so we'll see how it goes but yeah i thought it would start off today's vlog and we will explore barcelona together thought i would show you my outfit of the day as well i've gone for this midi dress from river island um it's kind of like a knitted material it's got a bit of a like crossbody back as well um but it's just been so warm which i like kind of well i kind of knew but equally it's like autumn so i'm very much in like autumn mode but this is what i'm wearing i've gone for my vasia trainers again very very comfortable and then for my bag i'm going for this bag which is my marge bag and then oh here i was like where have i put my things so marge bag which is like quite a big crossbody one and then a shirt just to wear over the top it's a little bit creased but um just in case, I've been wearing like jumpers over the shoulders, but I kind of feel like a jumper. I don't know, maybe a jumper would look okay. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> resuming my vlog this time in Palais Guel. This is really close to where we're staying actually. We passed it yesterday and today we thought we'd come inside and have a bit of a wonder. I feel like today we're gonna have a Guel day. Um, but we are currently in one of the like games rooms we assume and it's been pretty cool so far. <laughs> Something for your We're on the rooftop of the Palais Well now, where you can see lots of these sort of structures with the mosaic and all that stuff that is so like traditional of his artwork and his architecture and things. It's pretty cool. We came to La Catedral de Barcelona. Um, it's very busy but it's a beautiful day. It was so cloudy. I said it was cloudy this morning but it cleared up and it's much sunnier now. I feel like the sun is on my ears and it makes my ears look so big. It's really random. Um, but yeah, so we walked along there and now we are going for like a place that does all day brunch. Um, for lunch and 
then we'll see. I wanted to go to Park Park Well today, um, but we didn't book in advance because I thought we could still book on the day, which was turns out a bad idea because the only tickets they have are at 6 p.m. now, which I think is too late. So we're gonna have to leave that for another day. Um, so today we might go up to Monch Week instead. I don't know, we'll see. You'll see as the vlog progresses. But yeah, it's nice walking through like these streets of Barcelona. So far we've not seen like that much of the like proper city centre. Um, so it's nice to like walk in these places and like, particularly on a weekend, because I feel like there's so much happening and it's really lovely. We've finished off with the brunch slash lunch. It was really nice. We went to a place called Gringa all day and they basically do like all day brunchy like options. It's really good. But we went at around three o'clock and it was so busy. We had to queue outside for a little bit and we hadn't like previously heard of this place. We passed it yesterday at closing time um, and we said like, oh, we'll come back tomorrow thinking that it would be like, super chill not too busy but it gets really really busy maybe because it's Sunday as well um, but it was really nice like we're so happy we like stumbled across it because it was excellent and now we've just walked along the I don't know what this is called like a promenade type thing um, of all their designer stores we're kind of thinking this is like the Regent Street equivalent and we've also passed Casamila as well and now we're going down to see the other like inspired houses too so yeah it's like for Sunday it's like quite quiet, it's really odd. Um, it's nice. So we've just crossed by, passed by Casa Ballon and um, it was so busy and it's also got like trees <laughs> outside of it and they're kind of like restrict your view a little bit from the outside but we managed to cross the road and we took like a few pictures and things of like the building in full um, also just looks really cool. I just said it looks like Disneyland. <laughs> um, but it looks, it, it's just lovely. They've got so many beautiful buildings around here actually, like beautiful tops, like rooftops. They all look so cool. And now we are just heading back to our hotel. It's just past five now. So we're going to just walk down the roads of Barcelona and um, head back to our hotel and then get ready for tonight. Currently walking back to our hotel and we decided to try and come like a different way so that every time we come home, we like see something new, hopefully. This isn't new, <laughs> but, um, but I thought it was quite nice to share. It's just one of the stations in, is it a station? I'm pretty sure it's a station, um, but it looks really like impressive, like really grand, which is nice. I think it's Lidl's downstairs. Lidl's downstairs. Yeah, why can't there be a station upstairs and Lidl upstairs? And I don't know. Anyway, there's a little there, but it's really nice. Oh, it's a market. It's a market, maybe. I don't know. It's something. It looks nice. Heading out for dinner, and I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing tonight. So I've got on just a classic black blazer, literally the only one I brought with me, and then this like white mini dress. I got it maybe two summers ago in Portugal in Mango, and then I'm going for my knee-high boots, which I don't know whether it'll be a mistake because there is a lot of walking, but I brought them with me and I feel like if I don't wear them today, I might never wear them. And then they just took up space in my suitcase for no reason. So this is what I'm wearing tonight. <laughs> Just made it back to our room. Um, oh my gosh, I'm cool. I mean, knee high boots was such a bad idea. My feet are killing me. We had to get an Uber home because I was like, can't do it. Just can't do it. So, not wearing these again. Um, and we had hoped to go to this Italian place that we'd seen. Um, but basically, we got there and they were like, have you booked? We were like, nope. Um, and then they were like, mm, sorry, if you've not booked, there's like no chance. And like, I kid you not, I could have just like cried. I was literally like, oh my gosh, I got like distraught. I was ready to come home and just like have McDonald's and be like, be done with the day. Um, but then we had a seat like nearby and then did a bit of a Google to try and find somewhere else to go to. This time we called before we rocked up again. And um, yeah, we ended up eating at like a small, I can't remember the name now, but I will leave it in the description or like on the screen or something. And we ended up going, it was like quite an like authentic little Spanish place and it was nice. We had some tapas -y things and we had a paella as well. And we thought, let's do this today because if we don't do it today, maybe we won't have one and then we'd regret that. So 
we ended up having a seafood paella, it was really good. And that's that's it for today. I'm so tired. Um, we've got a busier day planned tomorrow. Um, everything pre-booked, which is good. I feel like we've learned our lessons after these past two days. But for now, going to finish up. <laughs> Why did you do that? I was doing so well. But but for now, going to call it a day, go to bed, and that's it. See you tomorrow. Hello everyone, it is day three in Barcelona and we are currently at Camp Nou. We've done like just the basic tour. So we've just gone through the museum and now we're sitting, sitting in the stand and um, just by the pitch and I mean that's it. This isn't really like my kind of thing, it's something Andre wanted to do so we've done it. Um, yeah, it's what I'm checking so that I hopefully vlog for the rest of the day as well. But yeah, this is like different. It's the to be fair, this is the third stadium tour I've done, which I think is pretty impressive for someone who isn't a massive like football fan. So yeah. Just finished at the Camp Nou Stadium tour, which actually was quite good. It was better. There was like more than we thought there was. We thought it was really basic and that there wasn't like we weren't going to see much but we saw pretty much most of what we see at other stadium tours apart from the home changing rooms but we saw the away changing rooms we went up into like the media boxes and stuff like that and it was actually quite a good one we were there for like an hour and a half maybe and now the sun is shining i think you can tell because i'm squinting so much it's still really cloudy but it's so hot today so um yeah gonna make the most of the rest of the day the weather has cleared up quite substantially I actually feel like today has hotted up so much that it feels like the hottest day so far which is crazy because we were honestly unsure whether there'd be like storm thunderstorms like the forecasts were just all over the place but it's turned out to be such a beautiful day we just come back down to the beach now we are going to look for a place for lunch and then later we have a we have our booking for park well but for now we're by the beach by the sea I made sure to go like close to touch the seawater. I feel like that's always something I have to do whenever like near the beach and near the ocean. So did that, I kept like my trainers on, so it was really, it was quite fast. But anyway, that's done. Now we're just walking along the promenade and we're gonna find a spot for lunch. And then that's it. Updating, um, it actually suddenly got very loud, but we are currently walking down the harbor. Um, we're actually walking back to our hotel now. We stopped by one place where we, I had hopes to have lunch, we like sat down and everything, like ordered our drinks. But honestly, the pricing was just extortionate. It was like, I don't know, something like 25 euros for, I think they said like six prawns and like, like that's it, like it doesn't come with any accompaniments or anything like that. And we were just like, it's too much. Like it's just purely, it's because of where we are. It's like the premium, the premium price. Um, and we were gonna look around. There was actually one place that was on my, on my list to go to but unfortunately that's closed on both Monday and Tuesday so we won't be able to visit that um because we didn't go Saturday or Sunday obviously so yeah so then we either could have like continued walking around and searching for it but instead we're going to walk back to the hotel because I really want to change clothes it's got so warm um and if we just waited around here longer I wouldn't have time to so that's the plan we're currently walking down here which looks really nice I feel like this side in particular looks so cool it's a very like Kind of less touristy and potentially like less known as well so no i wouldn't say less known this is obviously the harbor but i don't know it's not part of like main stuff you see to like visit in barcelona type thing so it's been like a nice walk so we just ended up finishing lunch we ended up coming to a place that i'd actually spotted last night it was called nap and it's pizzas um but pizza's a great lunch option and it was really nice actually literally the price of our meal which were two pizzas and two cokes cost uh, 23 euros which was the price of like six prawns in the other place so fantastic we're quickly rushing back to the hotel now so that we can change um, and then we're going to park well I, i've booked that for 4 p.m and it's currently like 3 30 so we're gonna have to start requesting ubers soon because they take a really long time um but yeah just kind of rushing back to change and then we'll be off again
We are in Parkwell now. We have just got in. Um, I did a lipstick change and that's it. Um, but we're going up to one of the three viaducts and so far it's so nice it's so chill i don't know i think it might get busier the deeper we go into the park but for now it's quite chill quite serene which is really nice and i'll obviously bring you around with me i recorded that i recorded that So it's still at Parkwell. We've seen like the main attraction parts, so like the area with the mosaic chairs and things, not really chairs, but like benches. That was so busy. So there I really understood why people say that it gets very busy here because that was incredibly busy. And we were actually, we were being all like really controlled, really like good good people and like waiting for each other, almost like forming a bit of a line, waiting for everyone to take pictures. And then this one woman just like, it was me and Andre taking a picture and this one woman just like went right there literally standing right next to me to try and take a picture of you everybody was honestly outraged like some of the photos Andre's face is so funny he's so annoyed um but yeah we got a few photos we sat there for a bit as well it was nice and sunny too it's definitely got more cloudy and overcast now but we did sit there for a while which was very lovely and now I think we're back there again aren't we yeah. we're back there we just I don't know it's quite tricky in here you could get lost in here but we are still just walking around wandering and the quieter parts are like a bit further away once you get to the main things on like Instagram and things are definitely much busier. I've just realised I've spent this whole time filming on like an underwater setting so I hope all of my clips didn't look absolutely wild I don't know how I managed to change that up but just thought I would update in case all of the clips before this one look absolutely ridiculous I think I fixed it now. <laughs> Finally managed to get myself an ice cream. Well, like I've been hoping for or looking for an ice cream for such a long time. I got King Bono and Mango Sorbet. That's delicious, very happy. No way. Good morning, it is our final day in Barcelona today, so day four and the last day. We have just got ready, got our suitcases packed and got ready for the day. We are leaving later tonight, like quite late in the day, so we do still have a good chunk of the day to explore some more. But because I didn't show you the hotel when we arrived, I thought it would do a really quick room tour now. You do have to bear in mind that it is looking messier than when we first checked in. I should have done it when we arrived, but for some reason I didn't. But I don't want to go without doing a bit of a room tour, so so I'll do you room tour now. Okay, so this is how you come in. This is our little entry. It's a very small room. I believe we got the petite city view. And as you can see, it's quite like basic in what it's got. We've got very nice comfy bed here. Excuse how it's made. I quickly like pushed the covers up so that it looks a little bit better, but obviously it's been slept in. Then we've got this little desk area with a TV and a chair. So perfect even if you're like working away and stuff as well. Then this is my little outfit of the day mirror where I've been showing you my outfits. Um, just right here in the entryway and then Behind me is the bathroom, and they have really cool bathrooms in here. Like, all of these rooms look different, bathrooms as well. So this is the bathroom that we've got. Really, like, just nice, basic. Again, we showered this morning, so sorry about that. But yeah, everything just quite basic, quite nice. And then we also, as I mentioned, have the city view, and this is our little balcony. It's a beautiful sunny day today. We've been quite lucky with the weather, to be honest. As you can see, it is very, very loud but um, the windows are fantastic, so there's no issue, but we have such a nice view. We're right next to Parallel Station, so it's a very nice, like, easy to get everywhere, good little kind of junction, I suppose. And um, yeah, very, like, very small balcony. We couldn't, like, sit out there or have a table out there or anything like that, but still really quite nice, and this is, like, another pan of the room, I guess, so. Um, yeah, basically it looks like this. All of the rooms are different and 
yeah, I, I really liked this place. I really, really did. I definitely chose it based on like the aesthetic. I thought it looked quite nice and I'm really quite happy with it actually. The location wise, it was in an area, well, I don't know what the area is called, but it's right next to the parallel station and it's been pretty great for us. We've managed to walk just about everywhere. The only places we didn't walk to were Camp Nou, which is the Barcelona stadium because that's quite far and just a bit out of the way. The airport, obviously, and also yesterday, Park Güell as well well because that's quite high up on a mountain it was quite hard to walk to anyway um and for us it would take like an hour or so so those are the only places that we've had to get ubers to but apart from that we've walked pretty much everywhere on today's agenda we're walking to sagrada familia which we're really excited to go and see finally our last stop hopefully we've saved the best till last and we've also walked to like las ramblas like a uh, park de la cuitadella which we did on the first day Barcelona Beach and just like everywhere else we've been we've basically walked to so it's actually been quite good in terms of location it is only like a two star and I would say that that's because it doesn't really have the typical like hotel amenities like there isn't a gym there isn't like a huge like lounge oh that's not true there is a lounge area but it's just not like your typical kind of hotel basically so it's just a bit more chilled a bit more like boutique -y. but i really liked that about it they've had breakfast every day just basic not like a massive buffet or like hot breakfast or anything like that just like continental bits and it's been great we've basically had a cross on every single day which has been fantastic for us and i actually didn't realize this was sort of an option but it comes with all of the all of the bookings basically and um yeah, I have to say, I'm quite impressed. I'm quite, in, I've quite enjoyed it here. We are now just about to check out, as I said. So we are going to leave our luggage downstairs at reception. Luckily, they keep luggage for us, which is fantastic. So we will keep our luggage here. Ooh, sorry, light. We will keep our luggage here throughout the day and then pop back a little bit later to pick up our luggage and head home. Hopefully you can hear me because it is a bit loud in here, but we've come to El Cordon village and they have a like food parlor upstairs on the like roof, not rooftop but the top floor and it's so beautiful you get such a beautiful view of uh, Plaza, no, the Plaza no where of the Catania yeah the Plaza the Catania and like other things around here it's really beautiful like panoramic view you also get to choose like a variety of Things. Andre, Andre went for sushi and I went for Spanish omelette, very in keeping with where we are. But I thought I'd mention it because we, Andre actually talked in a vlog that he watched from Bar a Barcelona trip, so we thought we may as well just wanted like something and like bite to eat basically, like halfway from our destination. So yeah, I thought I would mention it and I'll also show you the view, of course. It's like beautiful panoramic view of the city and it's very lovely. like 
essentially there's like a tiny tiny bridge literally only space for like two people so one row going down and then you turn back around um, and you just like get depending on which tower you're on you either get a view of Barcelona or you get a view of like the ocean we were on the nativity we went up the nativity towers so we got a view of Barcelona which was lovely but um, I don't know it's like cool for the history I suppose that like obviously those ones in particular those towers were still completed while Gaud whilst Gaudi was still alive so yeah that's quite cool but besides from that like mm, is it worth it I'm not too sure everybody says it is but I'm just being completely honest like in my personal opinion I'm not entirely sure um but yeah other than that we are walking back to our hotel now we're actually going to hopefully get some like tapas or something it's around four ish and our flight is tonight at oh, sorry our flight is tonight at 9 40 p.m it's such a late flight and i was actually saying can you imagine if it gets cancelled there's no way we're going to get another flight today and um, it must be like the last one of the day but we are basically we have time to kill between now and having to go to the airport so we're going to hopefully find some tapas somewhere and so that we have like a nice a nice meal rather than an airport meal and then we will be bidding farewell to Barcelona. We've taken the scenic route home. We are now walking down Las Ramblas, which we've already done today, but I don't think I've vlogged. And I think I'm gonna stop off at the market, the food market, because we stopped there on Monday only. No, it wasn't Monday, it was Saturday. But our first day here was the day we stopped there and I wasn't vlogging that day or anything. So I thought it'd be quite nice to include it into my vlog as well. So we will probably go in there. I really want an ice cream. So that's what I'm on the hunt for in the market. In the market, found an ice cream. It's very nice. I went for banana caramel and it tastes very nice. Um, so yeah, there are like just loads of stalls here have lunch here if you wanted to there's a variety of so many different stuff like snacks but then there's also like meats fish that kind of stuff very big very busy i would recommend having a look we are now having tapas we've come to a place called la javata which is quite close to where we're staying um we've ordered lots of various tapas dishes to try it's the first time we've actually done tapas in spain so this is what we ordered like some crispy chicken some pork prawns uh, crispy pork belly, some croquettes and patatas bravas which as you can see we have got through. I kind of forgot to start vlogging but yeah it's been very nice. Just eating up now before we head home. 